Hello friends, I uh, hope you are all okay, you are all enjoying your life and you are also enjoying watching my videos and uh, practicing radiology whether it is uh, reporting the CT scans or MR or doing the ultrasonography, all these are the radiology topics. So today I am going to talk about one of the topic that is uh, rather one of the tumor, it is called as glomus jugulari tumor. Glomus jugulari tumor, it uh, arises from the paraganglionic cell and uh, it is commonly seen at uh, jugular bulb. As far as the patient complaints are concerned, which give rise to the suspicion of the uh, glomus jugulari tumor would be the patient will uh, complain of pulstyle tinnitus, patient will complain of vertigo and uh, there will also be deafness associated with Beside this, there will be a lower cranial nerve palsies. Uh, this uh, glomus jugulari tumor uh, will compress and may cause thrombosis of the internal jugular vein. As far as the radiological uh, appearances are concerned, on the CT images, you uh, will be able to see that it would be, this tumor would be associated with moth eaten appearance of the bone and uh, there will be an enlargement of the jugular foramen. Uh, if you are doing MR, so on the MR it has a characteristic appearance which is called as salt and paper appearance. How we can appreciate these uh, all findings on the CT images, on the MR images, for further detail let's start watching these images. On this axial image you can appreciate that this is the glomus jugulari tumor and this is on the right side it's arising from the paraganglion, paraganglion cell and uh, here if you see there will be you will be able to see the moth eaten bone destruction and uh, also you can appreciate that this enlargement of the uh, pars vesorum of the jugular foramen so these two findings making it uh, uh, clear for the glomus jugular tumor it's a non contrast axial image and here on the right side what you can appreciate is that it is uh, dilated or enlarged jugular foramen. So this jugular foramen shows soft tissue density and uh, this is glomus jugulari tumor. Beside this if you focus on so you may be able to see that there is a moth eaten destructions of the bone in that particular image. Another axial image uh, for the glomus jugulari tumor and you can appreciate that there is a moth eaten bone destruction. Uh, with minimal effect and also enlargement of the jugular foramen uh, and soft tissue mass can also be seen in here. This is glomus jugulari tumor. Non-contrast axial CT image showing the right sided uh, uh, enlarged jugular foramen uh, having a soft tissue mass within it and this is what the uh, jugular glomus jugulari tumor. Here the two images has been shown just for the comparison purpose. Image on the left side is showing enlarged jugular foramen while on the right side it all appears normal. So here on that image, a particular image you can see that the jugular foramen is enlarged and beside this there is a moth eaten destruction of the surrounding bone. So this is what glomus jugulari tumor will look on the CT axial images or paranasal sinuses images. So this is what the glomus jugulari tumor is. So this was all about glomus jugulari tumor uh, which is arising from the paraganglionic cell and uh, it gives rise to pulse style tinnitus and deafness and vertigos. In some of the cases uh, it may give rise to lower cranial nerve palsies. On the CT imaging uh, there will be a moth eaten bone destruction and there will be enlargement of the jugular foramen. So these two findings will lead towards the diagnosis of the glomus jugularis. Uh, hope uh, it would be a useful video for you and you will be able to appreciate this glomus jugulari tumor on the CT images. So with some other new video we will see each other till then take great care of yourself. Thank you.